Developers can face challenges when using memory on Android. The system may need to kill your game if there isn't enough memory. Determining a memory budget is hard because there are no guarantees how much memory you can use. And bad memory pointers can be hard to find. Let's take a quick look at how Android manages memory. Android uses memory for caching background apps, so keeping large amounts of memory free is just wasting memory. If your game needs memory, it may need to wait for Android to kill background apps. Keep in mind that other processes may have a higher priority memory than your game. Here are some tips on how to handle low memory situations. Try to be conservative with memory. The kernel and system processes take up memory, so you can't use all of physical memory. Typical user apps may start background services that take up memory so you shouldn't test on a clean device. On-term memory can warn you that memory is running low, which means that the low memory killer, or LMK, could start killing processes. If the memory gets too low, then even your game could get killed. A bug report will show if your game was killed by LMK. You can capture a bug report by using ADB bug report command. This saves a log, which you can be searched for the string low memory killer to see if your game was killed by OMK. Android Studio now has a native memory profile to help you understand how your game uses memory. Stack traces of memory allocations can show where to reduce memory, and seeing deallocations can help you pinpoint memory leaks. Note that it's limited to system malloc and free calls. Therefore, you may have to make minor changes to profile memory usage. Some games allocate a pool of memory with mmap and then sub-allocate from these pools. The Android Studio memory profile will miss these allocations. To profile, use malloc and free instead of the custom allocator functions. This can be done in an Unreal and Unity with some minor changes. To make Unreal use the system malloc and free, you need to modify the base allocator method to use fmalloc ANSI, as shown here. For Unity, you can extend or modify the Unity player activity to include the system allocator from flag in the command line arguments. Running the native memory profile is similar to other profiling tools in Android Studio. From the memory profiling window, click on the memory trace. From the Memory Trace view, click on Record Native Allocations. When you stop the recording, you can see the results. And you'll see something like this. This, show, this view shows the methods that called allocation functions, along with how much memory was allocated and deallocated. The Call Stack view shows the call stack at allocations and deallocations. Tencent used our HeatProfD native memory profiling tool to find memory problems in PUBG Mobile. HeatProfD is the same memory profiling technology that's used in Android Studio native memory profile. The problem was that they were seeing an unexpected memory increase when going from a 32-bit to a 64-bit version of the game. In order to find out where the increase was coming from, they needed to track native memory allocations with reasonable performance. Tencent used it to compare the size of structures compiled for 32-bit versus 64-bit and found that these structures grew by 10 megabytes because of the doubling of pointer sizes and extra padding. Another type of memory problem is with bad memory pointers. This can lead to crashes like segmentation violations, accessing invalid data, or in general, unexpected behavior. Some of the causes of bad memory pointers include accessing freed memory, buffer overruns, or just uninitialized or corrupted memory pointers. Hardware Assisted Address Sanitizer, or Hardware ASAN, is a new tool for detecting memory pointer issues. It's like ASAN, but faster, with much less memory overhead. When hardware ASAN is enabled, 
will cause the game to crash if an invalid pointer is used. It uses a hardware ASAN build of Android 10 or later on Pixel phones. Games need to be 64-bit and use malloc and free or instrumented custom allocators. Here is how a hardware ASAN works. It uses the top byte ignore feature, an ARM64 architecture, to store a memory tag in the pointer. It also creates a shadow memory to map allocations to a unique tab. If the pointer tag doesn't match the shadow memory tag, then it knows the pointer is bad. Here are the steps to use hardware ASIN. First, flash a pixel device with a hardware ASAN version of Android. You can get this at flash.android.com. Look for the AOSP Master with Phones Throttle build. You want to disable any use of the Google Play services since it isn't compiled for hardware ASIN. The next step is to build a hardware ASAN enabled version of your game. You can do this by modifying the build.gradle and cmakelists.txt files. Finally, when hardware ASAN detects that a bad memory pointer is used, the game will crash. You can view the logcat output to see where the bad memory access occurred and also a stack trace of the original allocation or deallocation in the case of use after free bugs. You can learn about the native memory profile in Android Studio, memory best practices, and more at d.android.com slash games.